What's up, guys? So welcome back to some more F122. Welcome back to Cooper Motors. We have an exciting episode ahead of us. So uh, hopefully we're going to be able to make up for some lost ground that last race. Canada, one of my favorites, just absolutely disastrous. If you guys missed it, make sure you guys go watch it. But uh, we're headed to Silverstone today, which is very exciting. But the main reason why I'm excited is we've actually got a lot going on both car development wise, as well as with our money. We've got $7.8 million right now. So uh, we're gonna be able to upgrade one of our facilities, which is pretty sick. And uh, we'll just kind of see what we can do. So in terms of timeline, it looks like we've got a week. Whew, I'm feeling aero department focused. I think that might be a decent idea. Power team building, funded team event for 10K. Yes, we're gonna be doing that for sure. Sim training for Oscar. F1 esports event, sponsor event is going to get his team acclaim. I'm going to go for that. And then, oh, we can't do aero focus. Dang it. We could do the, uh, no, we can't do that either. Actually, the only thing we could do is the powertrain. I don't even think we need that. We'll, we'll see what happens. Let me see what's going on with R&D. So in terms of chassis, we know for sure this is going to complete in seven days. There's no question about that. So powertrain, we we could improve their our chances a little bit. We could do pistons. We could do the ignition system. We've got enough points for this already. All right, I'm going to say let's, let's do pistons. Looks good to me. And then we're also, we're going to end up running that... Uh, the activity so let's let's put this up first we're gonna do the power team building first then we're gonna do this uh funded team event we'll do the sim training and then we'll do the sponsor event all right fill up our week now our facility upgrade dude we've been saving up money for so long this is our first major upgrade we've got 7.8 million dollars and that is just enough to be able to upgrade our resource point generation so right now powertrain generates 75 per week this is gonna upgrade it to 125. We could also upgrade the chassis department if we want. Same thing, same cost, same price, same everything. Let's just go for it. Resource point generation. We're getting more resource points every week. It's gonna be great. I mean, build time probably could have been decent. Fabrication, quality control. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. And the cool thing is, is that's gonna be our first level two kind of sector of this facility. So that means it's gonna upgrade the facility to level two, which is gonna be great. So. We've got that there. Everything else is looking good. I think we are going to take our second MGUH. We may as well. I mean, we're more than a third of the way through the season. So let's just go ahead and take the second components on everything except for our energy store. Ooh, control electronics we're going to leave too. And our gearbox, dude. We've got four of those. All right. So we're going to upgrade all these. I'm feeling pretty confident. We got some more resource points here. Looks like one of our upgrades was complete. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The engine cover distribution is still in development. So hopefully that's going to continue going well. Uh, we've got 700 resource points. It doesn't look like we're going to have enough to upgrade chassis. Can we do anything in aero? No. What about... Oop. Supplier has arrived. Beautiful. So our durability is good to go. Can we get anything in here? 972. 700. The reshaped combustion chamber. Going to give us just a, uh, a small upgrade in our powertrain. Probably could have saved those points. Might as well just get it going. Here we go. Come on, baby. Sponsor event promotion. Oh, no. No. One of our, our chassis things failed. Average speed zone. Let's do it. Our big chassis upgrade, the engine cover weight reduction. It failed. So that's not good. We're going to have to restart that after this uh, after this race. But uh, here we go. All right. We get three rounds. We're trying to get up to a certain speed here. And we're just going to see what we can do in the Aston Martin Vantage. Here we go. 102 mile an hour average is what we're looking for. Slam on the brakes there. Ooh, we're going to be able to take that a little bit quicker, huh? Can definitely take it a lot quicker in an F1 car. Coming around this way. See what we got. Going through maggots and beckets. Whoo! This thing has no cornering compared to an F1 car. Take a little bit of the corner if we want. There it is. Get back on the gas. Here we go. So we're looking for 102. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it on this one, but we might. I think we'll be able to get it in the next one. 99. We need a few miles per hour. Going to make sure we use all the track here. Can definitely push it more than the line is telling us. Should you stay on the yellow? 
There we go. That's got to be it. We're already up at 98. I mean, I think we can do better than that. I'm hoping it's enough. Ah, it's not going to be enough. Shoot. We got 101. Or 100.63. This is it, baby. We got to we gotta push, push, push. Push, push, push. You're sliding a lot. You're sliding a lot. We failed it. There's no way. There is no way we're going to be able to do it unless we could just fly through here, dude. I'm not even really going to use the brake. I think we pushed it too hard. Maybe we didn't. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Ah, I think we messed We, we kind of slid a little bit there at the end. It's going to be close. Oh, we were so close, dude. Not quite. We got a silver. 50K instead of 100. Not a big deal. Ooh, lubrication system fault. That's not good. That's all right, though. It's going to give us time to get our car set up going here. So we are, uh, we're going to get ready for Silverstone. Definitely want a little bit less aero on this track. Lots of high speeds. Don't want too much drag. So I'm going to go through. I'm using uh, uh, OutsiderGaming.com. I, I don't know if that's a good one. Let me know who you guys, who you guys, I just kind of Google it and see who comes up first. So. We're, we're going to trust these guys with our lives today. I mean, it all makes sense. You know, more tire pressure is going to help us out with speed and stuff. It looks it looks good to me. It looks like these guys know what they're doing. So, we'll... I mean, we had a decent setup in Canada. It did get a little bit loose, but that was, you know, personal fault. All right, we're good to go. I'm ready to get out on track. I'm going to run some track ack here. Acclimatization. Looks like we got a few seconds left. Repair is done. Let's get it going. All right, I'm probably just going to see you guys in quali. Practice is nothing too exciting, but uh, I'm excited for Silverstone, man. This is this is a really, really good track. I have a lot of fun here. I said the same thing about Canada, so let's let's hope we don't run into that today, but um, we're going to be all right. I, are we going to be able to go full throttle through, what is it, Cops? Is that the one you go full throttle through? I'm not sure. I think we could last year. I don't know if our arrow is going to be in the right spot this year, so we'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, here we go. We are not full full throttle through there. It wanted us to lift a little bit. Whew. Dude, this track is just, it's so fast. So, so, so fast. I love it. We're approaching the DRS zone. Watch your MFD for the activation point. Appreciate you. Make sure we hit that thing on time. We're all purple so far, baby. Let's go. I told you guys I weren't gonna that wasn't gonna take you through practice, but here we are going through practice together. Honestly, I the track acclimatization is probably my favorite thing that we do. Ooh, little little loose. Still able to set that purple though. Come flying through here. I think typically on the line you want to go a little bit further right, go over the white line. At least a little bit. Oh, this is the corner. that's the corner right there I was thinking of. We're definitely not staying flat through that. For sure. Maggots and Beckett's probably the most difficult part of the track. You got to find the perfect line through these guys. But it looks like we're hanging in there. DRS. Bada bing, bada boom. You boys looking pretty good. This, this track. We're all purples first try. No nonsense, no nothing. Let's see how practice ended here. Did a couple of the programs. Felt pretty good about it. Just pulled off the side of the track. Makes it easier. You can go around and do it. You know, an in lap and pull into the pits, but your boy just gets the heck out of there. All right, so there weren't even. Hamilton and Max Verstappen. And if today's practice is anything to go by. Well, there weren't even like any uh, quali sims or anything there. So I think we're going to be in a good spot here. I, I do think we upgraded all of our components and things and, and changed out our components on the engine. I, I do think maybe it's time to up the difficulty a little bit. Do we have the option to do that? mid-session i'm not sure this is always the toughest thing to do so we're on 70 right now which is in the middle of hard do we go up to, to 80 to expert uh, I've, i definitely think they've made the game harder this year i think the numbers themselves are, are more difficult than what they were in the past we'll we'll go for it so here's the predicament we're in this it's a it's a wet quality but it's a dry race but the thing is, is with the way our weekends are set up with the one shot quality, I don't know if we're going to be able to change the setup in the car in between quality and the race. So we either have to run with the race spec in the wet, which we're going to want way more downforce. So we're going to qualify terribly and then we'll be better for the race. Or we're going to want the, the quality spec and then we're going to be slower in the race. 
Or we might be able to change it in between. I'm not sure. I, I don't know how it works. So like, for example, here on the, the ideal setup for our car setup, if we go over to car setup and edit this thing, for aero, we want 10 and 20 in a dry race. We want uh, 30 and 38. So we're gonna wanna triple the front wing aero and double the rear. And obviously, I mean, that's just the start. You're gonna want different transmission settings. You're gonna wanna let air out of the tires because you're gonna want more contact with the ground. So overall, we're gonna make it so that it's slower and better in the corners and more, more you know, stuck to the ground. But tomorrow when it's dry and sunny, we're not gonna want that. We're gonna want the opposite. So I, I don't know what to do here. Uh, let me let me try it, all right? Don't 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 get mad at me. Let me let me see what happens. The problem is I just, I don't know if we're able, if we're able to change in between now and then because we do one shot qualifying. Let me, let me see how this feels with a dry setup in the wet. We're just gonna have to really be, oh yeah. We're already back in P22. This was, probably the the worst time to up the difficulty that i have ever chosen yeah dude we i there's almost no there's look at this i can't even hit the gas i i think i think we're gonna have to go with the wet setup shoot so this is gonna make us a a uh, little bit a little bit slower in the straights but we should have more control in the corners especially here in the wet I mean, it's not going to be I ideal either way. Ooh, we are way off the racing line there, Trev. But at least, I mean, I feel like I'm in fair amount of control now. The heck? Are we having, I think we're having issues with DRS? Is that what just popped up right there? I'm pretty sure that's what that was. We've had issues with DRS in previous practice sessions in like the last couple episodes. Oh my goodness, we're up at a P3, baby. The setup is strong. Not on a P6. Gonna break a little bit through here, not too much. Ooh. Can't get on the gas too early. I mean, we didn't practice for this, man. We were practicing in the dry. Felt super good in the dry. We put down some great laps. Hamilton just got loose a little bit right there. So did we. We're down in a P10. Not to worry about going too fast here, because I mean some sometimes it's more about just keeping her on the road. Hopefully. Some other people can end up messing up. Just hang on to this P10, Trev. Come on, baby. Here we go. Ooh, don't lose it. Easy on the gas through here. Long corner. Lot to lose. Not a lot of time to gain. Ooh, we <laughs> fish tailing at the end there. Okay, now the question is, P10's a great spot, by the way. That's exactly where we should be as a midfield team. Hopefully, we can do better than that. Hopefully, we're not gonna get blown out on this difficulty. Hamilton, Leclerc, and Carlos Sainz. The thing is... But don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. I'm, I'd see, I don't know if we're going to be able to change the setup. The only time we would be able to change the setup is if when we're back in the the, the building. Like our, our, you know, Cooper Motors building in the paddock. This part right here. So can we... Can we change... If we can't change the car setup here... Honestly, it just... Ooh. Vehicle? No, we can't. Tire allocation. We aren't going to be able to change it again. And that's what sucks. If we were doing the full quality setup where it was like, you know, we, we had Q1, Q2, Q3, we could have put a lap down in Q3 and then changed the setup of the car right before Park Ferme before the end of the race. Shoot, dude. We, I mean, we got ourselves a decent spot. I'm trying to see. I don't think R&D and stuff. No. We got ourselves a decent spot in qualify. I don't think we would have made it through quali otherwise, so I don't think we had a choice. But unfortunately, we're going to be at a massive, massive disadvantage in this race. This this was a strategy fumble. We fumbled the bag here. This this was like a Ferrari strat. But again, I, I think we were backed into a corner. I don't think there's much we could have done with what we had here. UK weather, dude. We return once again UK weather. I'm, I'm upset. And the we're coming off of probably our worst performance. It's race day here at in the last Zone. episode, and I don't it's think this one's going to be good. I think this is going to be race. even more painful, too, because it's... I mean, we're just slowly going to get picked off. Of light North clouds. Thanks, UK. The Thanks for the rain yesterday, and now we're, we've got light clouds, huh? Are we going to... Are we in Park for? I'm assuming we're in Park Ferme here. Let me see. Car setup. Park Ferme. So there is no chance for us to change between Quali and the full race. At least we learned that. So it's going to be a 13 lap race, dude. I'm I'm putting 13.2 laps of fuel in here. Um, uh, maybe a little bit more, just in case. 13.5. Uh, 
Uh, in terms of strategy, let me see what we've got going on. We could pit a little bit early. My little little undercut action. I'm gonna pit early. Let's let's just get let's get weird with it, dude. It just sucks, man. It, it's nothing that that we could have done. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just. It, it's the settings that we have. There is no chance for us to change our setup, and that just okay, sucks. All right. Heat into everything but the engine, he says. That's the other thing, dude. We've got a brand new engine here. This is such a fast track. We had upped the difficulty. Like, everything was looking nice. And then we got screwed by the UK weather. We're just going to try our best, man. I, I, I think we're going to be very slow. I, I've, I've got a feeling we're going to be very slow in the straights, and that's a lot of, of this track here. It's, it's fairly easy corners and long straights. I'm upset. Can we talk about it? Fernando, you down to talk about it, dude? No? All right. I, kinda, I need a friend. Oh, I'm good. I'm glad. I, go, go that. Go, go the weather forecast radar. Everything. I, I'm happy for the fans. At least the fans are going to stay dry, right? Even though I just got absolutely shafted for my entire weekend. I'm glad, I'm glad the radar's looking good. Thanks, Jeff. Your name's not Jeff. I still don't even know your name this year. Where's Gunther when you need him? You know what I mean? Just, just call, call us out. Looking like the Ferrari strategy clown squad out here. Let me see. At least we can okay, park it. Right at the start of this race, the rest is just going to be downhill. Here we go. Hoping for the best, expecting the worst. I did see a comment. Somebody said I should try upshifting at the start. We are on the, the auto gearbox, so it's kind of fighting me there, but we did all right. Oop, 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 oop. A little bit of contact, a little bit of contact. I'm just... I'm going to drive it on in there, baby. I'm taking what I can get. Off the rip here. A little bit of overtake mode. Okay. Okay. I mean, that was the best start we've had. I'm not going to... I'm not going to completely... Oh, yeah. We're now we're getting past. Perez is back by us. I'm not going to chalk it up as a complete loss. I mean, we have better cornering than they do. So that's good. But then in a situation like this, look, just watch them, watch them fade away. Watch them fade away into the distance. Look how slow we are compared to everyone, dude. Oh, my. All right. We're just, we're really going to have to fight this out, man. We're, we're going to have to pull something out of our butts. These corners are going to have to be where we make up all the time. We can get on the gas quicker than they can. We can have quicker entries and exits and things. But the straights, look, I've got my, my ERS on. And we're staying even with them. I don't have enough battery to use it on every straight the entire race. We don't want to be swinging out right off the rip, Trev. Just going to try to make some crazy moves, I guess. Come on, baby. I've got my, my ERS on. And he's still passing me. We're sticking. I mean, this is a heck of a start to the race. We'll take it. I, we're, <laughs> this is where all the action's going to be. The, pretty much the full episode's going to be these first couple laps. Once these guys find... Once these guys find an opening, I'm going to be absolutely torched. All right. This is the, the long straight here, right? So I'm going to use our, our ERS. We started at 86% battery. We're going to use this the entire straight. And let's see where we end up. Down to 69. All right. Could probably use it a little bit more. We could probably leave it on through that corner. Now we got maggots and beckets. I mean, bit... Bit of an interesting, different, you know, kind of... We could take these corners so fast. I'm, I'm going through these so much faster than we were in, in the... the practice bit of an interesting uh, you know approach to strategy here at Silverstone but can't say that it's not working thus far we did gain two positions I still have a sinking feeling that we're gonna get absolutely destroyed as this race drones on 
We're only on lap two, lap three now, but uh, we'll see. Going to take some tires two laps into the race, it feels like. Two laps into DRS, I guess. Here we go. Kind of want to save some battery to see if we can have a good out lap on our pit stop lap, but we also need to make sure we keep in DRS range. Dude, we're actually kind of doing it. I think we're more than a second at, uh, it looks like his DRS might be open. Here we go. Being a little bit aggressive with that corner, but why not? This segment of the track right here is where we fully need to be on it. Maggots and Beckets, this is where we're, our race is gonna be made or lost. Got DRS, I'm gonna use a little, little ERS, not much. Just try to stick with them, and then this this very last sector back here is also pretty good. These guys are battling. It might end up going to our favor. We'll see. I can slow even the best of them down. Watch that sausage curb. We're surfing the curbs, baby. That is not something you want to be doing. Shoot. Fernando is falling back, though, dude. See, we could take that corner at, at full bore. I don't think they can. I don't know. This might end up playing into our favor, although it's not exactly how you're supposed to race Silverstone. We get so close in the corners. So close. And then they just pull on us, dude. Try to stay. I'm going to use some battery. Try to stay. If we have battery, we can stay. The problem is we don't always have battery. See, like when we don't have battery, they're starting to pull off on us. But then we get these these corners, and that's where we can start to, to make up a little bit of time. Look at this, back up on them. Checo and Norris going side by side into this corner. Please wreck, please wreck. Oh, they're getting close. Not quite, all right. Stay within the track limits, Trev. Back up on them. Dude, this, this, uh, this whole race is just so insane. This segment right here, right at the very end, that was the most exciting part of the, the F1 season thus far this year. If you guys didn't see Silverstone, it was insane. It still, it still gets, gets my whistle wet. I'm trying to save some of our, our battery here. It's so frustrating watching these guys pull off on us. Just gonna try to have the best in-lap possible and then I'm gonna use a lot of our battery on the the out-lap from the pits. Just try to keep up with them. Got some DRS, stay in the slip. Looks like Checo took off on Lando a little bit. Where's the pit entry? It's around this corner and then off to the right, right? Pretty sure. Oh yeah, here we go. Come on, need a good pit stop. Brake hard, brake hard, make sure you're not speeding. Ooh, that was a pretty good pit. All right, who's in front of us? We got a Ferrari in front of us. Or is that a Haas? I'm not sure who that was. Yeah, I think it's, it's oh, it's, it's probably an Alfa Romeo. All right, <clears throat> it was white and red. So they're all kind of a combination of white and red there. Here we go. We need a good pit stop. We need a perfect one. We need a perfect one. Oh my goodness, let's go. Come on, come on. And there goes our race. There goes our race, dude. That is so freaking frustrating. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Don't go over the white line. Come out strong. Here we go. All right. We'll see where we end up. That might not be the end of the race, but that was not ideal. Why does our pit crew suck so bad? When are they going to allow us to hire a better pit crew? Dude, I can't wait for the F1 manager game. Holy cow. Now we're out here in no man's land. I'm going to use a lot of battery. I'm going to use almost all of our battery through this lap. Probably will use all of it, to be honest. We need the best next couple laps possible. Let's use it here at the beginning of this straight. Dip down the inside. All right, cut it, save it. Kind of got us up to speed, lift a little bit. Use a little bit more. Cut it. I have to go through here. Be smart about it. 
Got another straight here. I'm going to use it. I hope we ended up doing okay here. We'll see what happens. Coming around the start finish straight. Here we go. Dig, 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 dig. Full battery. Full battery. Let's see where we end up. I'm not lifting. Never lift, baby. We came out behind Gasly, dude. He was two spots behind us. We got him, though. He's on his cold tires. All right. That's our rival. Really, the main thing is beating Gadsley. That's probably the most important thing. Ooh, and we got DRS. I'm using battery and DRS. I'm going to try to get away from him. Didn't work. That went, dude, ugh. I honestly feel like we would have been in a good spot without the slip pit stop. I think a couple seconds ahead, we we would have been we would have been okay. We'll see what happens when we come around this time. I think there's still a couple more people that are going to end up pitting here on lap seven and come out somewhere close to us. So we need to have a good another good lap here. Gasly's catching us. I don't think he had DRS, but he's catching us. Ooh, running wide, wide, wide. Let's get that under control. I think, you know, I, I hate to say it, but I think this is what I was kind of expecting from the very, very start. This is where the truth comes out. It actually, it looks like we've got quite a few people still in the pits here. Ooh. Lando. Ooh, okay. Going to have to give him a wide berth. Should have hit the brakes a little bit later. Do we, is this, I think this is the same spot we were in. So even with our penalty, even with our penalty, or our, not our, we don't have a penalty, our, uh, our slow stop, it looks like, I don't think it was Lando behind us though. Was it George? I, I honestly don't remember. It looks like somebody else may have had a slow stop or some sort of an incident. So we're okay. We're still in P8. We're, we're hanging on. This is way better than I thought. I, I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised. I expected us to, to slowly get eaten away here, but uh, let's not speak, you know, before the race is over. I think underfueling the car probably helped out a lot too. That's going to give us at least a little bit more speed. Had we not done that, we really would have been screwed, but... Uh, I think we're just going to be kind of sitting out here doing our thing for a while. So I'm watching the time sheet up in the, the top left up there. Uh, we were staying ooh, a little wide, a little wide. Got to turn in earlier there. We were staying fairly even in between these guys. We aren't catching Perez, that's for sure. Uh, Gasly, is, you know, we were going back and forth. We're on the straights. He was catching us. And then on the corners, we were getting away from him. So it was ultimately staying about the same, but it, it looks like, I think Gasly, Norris, and all them are fighting back there. So it looks like it's slowing them down. We are putting ground in between us and P9 behind us. Ooh. Except for right there. We use a little bit of battery to try to make up for that. So that's good. I, I think we're in a pretty comfortable spot. We're not catching Perez. There's no way. Got to be careful about tire degradation as the race goes on. We're not going to be able to push these corners quite as much. But, uh, yeah, I, I think you can pretty much ship it in as a P8 unless your boy finds out a way to pull up Latifi like we did in the last episode. I don't think that's fair to say to Latifi. He does happen to, you know, spin and run into walls a lot and stuff. But uh, Mazepin will, will always take that, that crown for me. You know what I mean? Even if he's not in the sport anymore, what is he doing? I haven't kept up with him. Need to go find out what he's been up to since he was kicked out of Haas. But, uh, yeah, he's he's the spin king. Nobody can take that title from him. Update. It looks like Norris got around Gasly, and Norris is closing the gap at least a little bit. He's down at 3.7. We were once at 4. Not too many laps left in this race, so we just got to drive it in there, man. Don't worry about anything. Just do, do you, Trev. Just do you. You see how the tires are starting to get a little bit loose in the corners? It's not great. Not good. I'm well aware, man. I'm not going to catch the car up front. There's no question about that. Two laps to go. Okay, expect to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, rain, really? 
thanks, man. Glad. Glad that couldn't have come any earlier. Thank you to the UK for straight up bending me over and just going to town this whole weekend. Full wet quality. Put your wet setup on. Oh, by the way, you can't change your, your car setup in between quality and the race. The race is going to be fully dry, and then we're going to make it rain right at the very end. Okay. Don't be going in the grass, Trev. We've got a race to finish out here. At least we're going to get some points. At least we're not DNFing. Anything is, is better than what we had in that last episode. I love trying to cut this corner and get it right to where your tire doesn't touch the grass. It's pretty fun. I've also, I've, I've really been getting better at this. Granted, our tires aren't as good now, but it's fun because I, I kind of was braking a little bit early on, but now I'm just kind of lifting. Like if you lift a little bit here, lift a little bit more here, lift a little bit here, eventually it brings it around probably. Could have lifted a, a bit earlier on that last one, but it's it's kind of fun. So this is it, man. Last couple of corners. Okay, I was stretching my leg, and it was it was not on the the brake. It was not on the brake. We're good. All right, let's let's not let's not ship it at the end, Trev. Please, just come around this corner, nice and slow, nice and easy on the gas. They're not gonna get around you. We're good to go. P8, man. It is way better than I thought. I'll be honest. I did not think we were getting a P8. Valtteri got the driver of the day. Shout out to him. I think we might have been able to do a little bit better had the pit stop gone better. Definitely could have done better had we had a good car set up for it. But uh, all in all, I think that's that's a win in our book. Sometimes you just got to be run of the mill right down the middle. Beat the heck out of Gasly in our, our total weekend there. Look at that. We're going to get 1,100 acclaim for winning this rivalry. The rivalry is almost over. Got some uh, some decent acclaim there. Looking good. We, we hit both of our, our what's it called? Uh, sponsor strategies. Looks like we had 4K in damage. I think we might have rubbed the front wing on something. But uh, all in all, pretty solid. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Going to be heading into uh, round 8 out of 16 to Austria. The Red Bull Ring. All right. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.